Welcome to today's class, and let's look at matrix multiplication. So for us to multiply matrices, there is a rule that you must adhere to. And the rule simply says, to multiply two matrices, the rows, the columns, the columns of the first matrix must be equal to the to the number row to the number of the rows in the second matrix. So here we say number of rows in the second matrix must be equal to the number of columns in the very first matrix. And we have an example here. If you are given A, matrix A, where as follows, which has 1, 0, 1, where that is matrix A, and you are given matrix B, uh, which has maybe 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 0. If you look at this matrix, this matrix, uh, this matrix has one row, matrix A has one row and three columns. One row and three columns. Column like this, one, two, three. Matrix B, matrix B has three rows, one, two, and three. Matrix B has three rows and two columns. Column is this one and this one. Matrix B has three rows and two columns. So to check whether they are there to our rule, for them, for us to be able to multiply the two, we compare these number of we compare the number of columns in the first matrix, which is 3. We compare these two, and we find these two are the same. That tells us that the matrix we should get is a matrix that contains the remainder of what remains in this, which is a 1 by 2 matrix. So the solution of this, I have my one, matrix is 1, 0, 1. I multiply this by I multiply this by 1 4 2 1 0 0 So when you, are, you something to take note is that when you are doing multiplication of matrices you multiply a row you multiply by a column So I'll take this row and multiply with this column Take this row multiply with this column. It behaves like a 7. Take a row, multiply with a column. You take another row, multiply with a column. So that's what we shall be doing. So this means, this is what we shall have, this is what we shall have, 1 multiply by 1. 1 multiply by 1. Then I plus, then I plus, 0 multiplied by 2, 0 multiplied by 2, then I plus 1 multiplied by 0, 1 multiplied by this, 1 multiplied by this, 0. To get our second component of this matrix, we take 1 multiplied by 4, 1 multiplied by 4, then I plus, take this 0 multiplied by 1, 0 multiplied by 1, then you plus, take this 1 multiply by 0. 1 multiply by 0. That means our new matrix is as follows. 1 multiply by 1, that is 1, plus this is 0, plus 0. The second element is 1 multiply by 4 is 4, plus this is 0, plus this is 0. 
That means our answer is 1 and 4. If you look at this matrix keenly, you shall realize this matrix contains one row and two columns. The one row and column one, column two. And that's exactly the result you have gotten here. This is the same result you have gotten. It contains, the, the result of multiplication contains the remainder of the number of rows and columns that remained when we tried to check whether the rule, whether the two matrices are the actual rule. And our result is this.